Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the unlinked application to your Fire Stick as well as the best codes to use there. It's an amazing alternative app store that you can use on your Fire Stick to get loads of apps which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And there are all kinds of applications. Movie apps, live TV, sports, IPT players, media players and so on. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube does not allow me to show you the exact applications available in that app store, but in your case, of course, it's not going to blur it. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get unlinked as well as the best codes to your device. And first of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader to your Fire Stick. You can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon app store, but if so, you just go to search on your device and in the search bar, start type with the loader. And as you can see, it already popped out for us in the search results. So we click on the loader, wait a bit, and then press the download button. And now in a couple of moments, the downloader will be installed to your device. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. As you can see, now it was installed, but it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we have to go to settings, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it, and from here you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry. It's actually super easy to make them appear. Just go to About. Select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. From here, just locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. We open it. And there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Hungary right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go to the list of apps on your device, and start up the downloader app. There, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, and then in that search bar, we need to enter a link, which is going to be unlinked.link. So let's enter it together. Once again, it's unlinked. Dot link. There you go. Now you can see the whole link on your screen. So just enter it as you see. 
Click on go and in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Sorry, not download, but the website of Unlinked is going to open. Yeah, that's right. So now we have the website. Just scroll down a bit until you find that download APK button. We gotta click on it and that's the moment when the download actually starts. Then you click install and wait until Unlinked finishes installing on your device. But after it was installed, don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done. This way you are able to delete the installation files as we don't need them anymore on your device. So you click on delete and then delete once again. After that, we'll have to go to the settings one more time. So click on that button with a gear icon, scroll down, go to my far TV. From here, it's developer options, install on apps and just locate unlinked this time. Turn that option on because we have to allow unlinked to install other applications from the internet for us. And finally, we are free to go to the list of apps on your device. There's the Unlinked, which we just downloaded. Now I would recommend you to click and hold the middle button on your remote. If you are using a Android device or click on the Options button on your remote if you're using a Fire Stick, that's the button with three horizontal lines. And then press on Move to Front. This way Unlinked is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then let's open the app. And from here you have to click on add a new library and there we'll be entering the codes in that search bar. So the first code I want to show you is going to be 9696000. So once again it's 9696. 0, 0, 0, 0, that's the code. Make sure to enter it as you see and then click on next. Here I just had to blur out my screen because of YouTube rules as I'm not allowed to show, to show you the exact applications available in that app store, but still I can describe to you what kind of apps you are going to find. So there you'll find ad blocker applications for your Fire Stick, movie applications, IPTV, TV shows, live TV, sports, web browsers, music applications, remote access applications, and so on. So there are loads of apps. They are mostly updated and should work on pretty much any Forest device. So that's the first code I want to show you today. Now let's go back and I'll show you even a couple more codes. So we have to click on add a new library. And now the second code is going to be Forest as a word. So we just enter Farstick. Just like that, so enter it as you see, click on next. And there are all kinds of media players, web players, IPTV players, movie apps, TV shows, live sports, and so on, even code related stuff, spice applications for grown ups, if you know what I mean, and stuff like that. So that was the second code we showed you today. And now let's go back so I could show you the last code. And the last code is gonna be 67664537. So once again, 67664537, click on next. And there you'll find a huge app stores with loads of applications of all kinds. From music to web browsers, web blockers, movies, TV shows, sports, this app store is probably the biggest one, bigger than the previous two, but it does not have as many updated apps as the previous app stores, so that's why I showed it the last. But still, even though not every app here is updated, the majority of them should work fine on any Android or Forest device. So today you learned how to get unlinked to your Fire Stick as well as the best codes to use there. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye.